Soapstone and wood carving artist Phil Jones is a local First Nations artist who has been carving for years. When I was when I was younger, when I first started doing this, an elder actually I was visiting him and he gave me this stone. He says, "Here, do something with this rock." And as I had the rock in my hand, I got up and I started heading outside. And he says, "No, no, come back here." And I was like, "Okay, what?" So he takes the stone on my hand and he grabs his keys and he starts scratching it, right? And you could see the wear and how easy it was to manipulate it. And he says, okay, now do something with that. And that's how I got started. I've always done artwork, whether it was drawing. When I doodle at, uh, it's, it's like, you can actually see pictures and stuff. Painting, I, I like to paint, but I don't think I'm that good. You know, I have fun with it. Uh, I have really good ideas and I can draw them and but the painting is a little different so when I got into stone it was I could see three dimension and I could start bringing stuff out and as I got better it, it just it just it was more fun because I kept on practicing and working harder and what also was a, like what I liked was people liked what I was doing and that made it more fun because I was actually able to show people, hey, what do you think of this? And then it just, one day somebody says, oh, we put you on an art show. And it's like, what? And I just got hooked. So for this piece here, uh, this is actually Mishu Pishu, the spirit of Lake Superior. And when I had the raw stone, I just looked at the head. It, it, it looked, it had the shape of what you see on Agua pictographs. And that was the shape I saw. And so I just started from the head and started working my way down because the initial head shot is what depicts Mishu Pishu because it's a lynx head. And that's what I wanted to try to, de to depict was the lynx face. And then the rest, the body was already there, the hips, the shoulders, the, the back fin that it has. And so it was just so easy to, to take the rough stuff off and it was right there. And that's all I did was take the rough stuff off and just played with it and define the, its stance, define the legs, the muscle structure. So everything was there and I just take it out. And the, the rough, you know, piece of rough rock is just that. It's a rock. Well, in this day and age, you know, with technology and stuff like that, uh, hands on, the hands on, you, we're losing that. Right? whether it's painting, whether it's... So we want to try and show the kids like how much fun it is to just play, especially with the different mediums. Because we have people who do pottery, you know, you're, that's hands-on. You're creating a, a figure out of clay. You know, with stone, you're, you're taking a way to create this beautiful product, right? Painting, you're using your imagination to create something. Photography even, you're going and you're sharing what you see or how you see it. There's a lot of wonderful photographers around. And, and it's, they're looking for different things that people don't look for. So they want to share that with people and say, look, this is, you could do the same thing. And I always encourage the youth, I always encourage people, you know, if you, if you enjoy doing it, make sure you're passionate about it and then have a lot of fun with it, right? When I show kids, you know, guys have called me up, uh, can you show me how to do something? Whether it's in stone or whatever, sure. My my friends always tell me, it's like, why do you keep, uh, why do you, you know, why do you keep showing people? You know, somebody's gonna come along one of these days and they're gonna be better than you. It's like, you know, well, at least I help them along their way. That's what it's all about. I'm still having fun, and I'm and I'm sure they are too. Phil will be displaying his artwork at the Sylvan Circle's 15th anniversary tour on September 19th. This is the fourth time I've been in the Sylvan Circle tour, and it's just a. A mixture of artists from all uh, mediums, which is textiles, uh, pottery, sculpture, paintings, photography, and there it's a group of wonderful people, wonderful artists who just want to share their work with with the public. And you know, it's not, for I think it's not about the money, like you're selling your product, but it's about sharing your artwork, your passion with other people. If you would like more information on the Sylvan Circle Tour and artists like Phil Jones, you can visit sylvancircle.ca.
For Go Sault Ste. Marie, I'm David Carlasio.